Hello, everyone, and welcome to BlizzConline Battlegrounds Edition. My name is Frodan. I'll be your host for today, and I'm joined by eight of your favorite Hearthstone content creators and playing a few games of Battlegrounds. It's not going to be like your previous Battlegrounds events where there's 2v2 and there's going to be some prize on the line. Today, we're just going to hang out, play on a patch, and have a lot of fun while listening to the player's POV. So without further ado, let's go ahead and meet who's going to be playing today. We've got Dog from Team Liquid. We have Slissa from Team Fade to Karma. We have Mr. Brian Kibler himself. Educated Collins also from F2K. And guess what? Another F2K member in Victor, aka 12 wins. We have Hearthstone Superstar Kriparian and the pair of G2 superstars, RDU and Tice. And of course, they're not going to go home empty-handed whoever wins. They get this one-of-a-kind Battlegrounds crown. That's right, the same logo that you see every time you queue up. They're going to be getting this pretty heavy replica. I was actually trying to wear it. It doesn't exactly fit on my head. It's actually quite heavy. Uh, one thing's for sure, though, it's going to be a pretty expensive shipping cost, whoever wins this bad boy. All right, Kibler. Well, you see Colin's strategy. He's got the spawn is off with full token start. How mad are you? I mean, you know, the, if it at least let's attack my spawn first so I didn't just get blown out there, that would have got a lot better for me. But <laughs> early game against Alec here, you're going to you're gonna kind of get uh, get beat up as a, at least unless you get something really sick. Ooh, prize's turn. What you thinking? Hmm. I have, like, overvalued new recruits so much and stopped taking it nearly as much as I was, but there's just not really the other good ones here. So I think I'm going to take new recruit here. I might even... We're going to see what we get off of it. I might even... Hmm, okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just pick up these two. I was thinking of possibly even selling and rolling, but this is actually fine for a free roll, and we get a plus one, plus one with the party elemental. All right, that's not bad. Yeah, stats are okay, and with the least, you just want to stabilize so you can power level uh, consecutively. So it exactly. looks like you're yeah, set in a pretty good motion there. here. I gave some I gave some thought to just leveling and going for a, a, a three there with the discover, but then I then I kind of like ran out of time thinking with the, <laughs> the prize and everything. Yeah. Oh god, oh, great bow. The, the new hero here. Uh, the big oh, bad no. wolf. That's a four four. All right, this is going fine for me though. There we go. Still one. Easy. All right, well, everything is easy, looking good easy. for Mr. Kibler. Let's go ahead and hop on to Dog's POV here. All right, Mr. Dog. Oh, howdy, howdy. storing the Murlocs already. I see what you're up to. I know. <laughs> Crip's going to be upset. Yeah, because you're jacking his style. Exactly, the Murlocs. That's right, that's right. So I see that we're <laughs> holding the coins. And are you looking for a specific turn to swing on, or are you just kind of holding it right now, keeping yourself open? Uh, kind of keeping myself open. I could have taken uh, the gachi gift or whatever, because I was considering like hitting another Tidehunter. But I think the money is a little safer, because I'm, I'm guaranteed a triple next turn. I'm going to solve like, most of my board to get a token triple. And I'm kind of looking for like a brand or some kind of win condition. And then I'll probably just commit from there. Fair enough. Also, we're jumping in halfway. What is your hero power? They selected off of Sir Finley. Oh, it is Jandis. It is very ah, good. OK, so when you said I had the guarantee triple, I, w I thought it was the case, but I wasn't entirely sure. But that does make it a really powerful combination. Is there any boards that you faced early or any heroes you're like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know if, if I could beat that person in the late game? Um. Generally, Rafam is pretty strong. Basically, it comes down to whoever picks up Captured Flag early. Captured Flag, like, if you don't pick Captured Flag and they do, then it, it's not called Captured Flag. It's by the Stormwinds. I, I think Captured Flag because of the, the, the other treasures. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do, they so. do all tend to blend in every now and then. I like that, uh, you know, a lot of players, when they're first, like, learning Rafam, they think, oh, I should never play my spawn first against the Zox. I don't want to give him uh, the, the minion. But you just play it, right? Get that the tempo. Unit, yeah. Forward. Yeah, I'd rather. I don't care about the rest of the lobby. <laughs> they can die. <laughs> I want. I want to yeah, win. That's right. Deal that three or four damage. I think it's totally worth. <laughs> exactly. All right. Who is it on Rafam exactly? Can you point that to me? Artie. Right, let's go ahead and check in with Artie. Thanks for the chat, dog. Yeah. All right, Radu. So we're on Rafam. You so got the triple. You're looking good. Triple. You feeling confident good. about this one? You feeling confident about this one? Uh, yeah, let's see what five uh, star I get. I think that's gonna like matter a lot. All right. 
We eat yeah, I'll first win. play the, the cat to sell one of them. I probably want to buy the Macau as well. Okay. Okay, I probably shouldn't have played the cat first. Yeah, I was looking at Mama <laughs> um, Bear and I'm like, I, I kind of wish we had Beast buff with it. <laughs> I mean, it's still fine, it's still fine. It is. So, question for yeah. you is that, uh, you know, how long will you hold? Like, so, are you going to be trying to look to roll for these pairs and try to triple up, or are you going to be trying to just replace with higher tempo? Where do you kind of identify yourself in the game state at the moment? Um, so here I'll try to triple for a little bit, but I'm not gonna overkeep the pairs. I'll try to get rid of one of the pairs first, and then if I don't manage to triple the second pair, I'll just get rid of the second pair as well and try to transition into beasts. I also go to Tavern 5, so like, if I find a different strategy on Tavern 5, maybe I'll play differently, but... I, I'm very happy playing beasts. Yeah, with how things are looking. Yeah, beasts I think are, are really solid. You know, it's it still seems to be like a really good build, especially if you end up playing, um, you know, some kind of early strategies where you get that early mob bear. So I think you're in a pretty good spot here. Yes. Good at this. Ooh. Hmm. A second spawn. Yeah. Here the question is if I should like buy the second spawn and roll for pairs, or if I should just tavern up to five. Does playing okay, as Alex Straza change that at all? Um, yeah, it does because I kind of want to beat Alex Straza. Oh. Since it's a dangerous uh, hero. More beasts. Okay. What pair are we getting rid of here? I think I will get rid of the Micro Mummies. Now, Micro Mummies is more valuable. It's also like. Yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of the towns. Yeah. I like it. I'll buy the rat pack. Tactical choice. I want to heal power. And I want to put spawn first, Hydra second, and then Macau with the rat. I like that. I like that a lot. You know, the the buff with the spawn double dipping is really big, but getting more five vibes onto the board sounds also really good to me. Which is about the same amount of stats anyways as the spawn is at that point. Oh, That's a you... crazy board from our opponent. Wow. Double Caligos. Two Caligos. Who's, who's I have on no the idea how that happened. It. It's Kriparian. Okay, we're going to hop on over to Crip. Uh, RDU. Looks like you're going to get the win here, but good luck in the late game. Alright, Crip. Uh, a pair of Malagis. Uh, you're a little bit lower health than probably you'd prefer, but I mean, that's a really good building block for the late game here. You got to be feeling pretty confident, yeah? I just hope that it is a late game. The, uh, the game started and I was devastated. Alistraza being your best hero is not what you're looking for. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the prizes though. Let's see. I think I need the instant, mm. the instant boost. Yeah. I don't feel like you need any more scaling with things like Gruel Rules because that's what Caligos is supposed to provide. I haven't gotten a battle Okay. There you go. Let's see. Should I sell that? I guess so. Alley Cat. And they're pretty good because they give you two out of three. Gold back, another Alley Cat. How does he do it? Uh, kind of. I think I'll probably go with the Twilight Emissary, actually. That's true, too. The plus two, plus two is very valuable, actually. I don't know if the attack order really matters when you have just a pile of stats. Now, I know you said that uh, you don't have a lot of battle cries. Is there ever, in what world do you ever feel like it's worth freezing for battle cries when you're on like this position here? Because you know you're low health and you want those battle cries, but at the same time, it's not a good battle cry that you freeze for. Where, where do you draw that yeah. line? Yeah. You don't have a choice. You got two Caligos. You, you're just at the mercy of what the game gives you. I mean, you're, you're, you're all in right from the bat with that. Yeah. I could actually die here if I get unlucky enough. Maybe not anymore okay. than that. 
Yeah, nice. But yeah, Elastraza is a really rough hero. I got one of the Caligos from the um, the Power, which is like the first one I've gotten in six months. It's it's actually like ten times rarer than any other card except a Malgadon. Wow. Wow. It's not That's gonna feel good. And you don't so. have his life. Collins took sixteen. That's so much. Nice work out there. It is. Just have to keep keep the train going. Oh, Verzon. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. That'll do some damage. Love it. Go ahead, do get another battle right there. Down a minion and up Aww. a goal. All right. Well, Crip sure looks like he's fading no that mid game. We're gonna hop on over with Tice and see how he's doing. Good luck, Crip. All right, so we're on Tice's POV, playing the Silas. Got a lot of resources in hand. Seems like you're in a... You're, yeah, I'm figuring out what to yeah, do. Yeah, I feel like this is very common of Silas, uh, where you're just like, you did a pretty good job stabilizing early mid-game, and now you're like, I'm not really sure what direction I'm going in, because I'm just picking up random <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, you got the Light Fang. Yeah, I think about the bronze Varden, but I think it's too early to, or I think it's too late. A fade dog. No, we'll just hold one more turn here. So I kind of bought a lot of the. Uh, sometimes I just like that Silas to just buy all these tickets to just kind of discover a bit, especially in the late game. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you can get, you know, potentially high impact uh, minion just to start buffing. But, you know, I'm, I am curious that you're even greeting by playing the Warden and still trying to collect that gold coin. I think, you know, in my mind, I might have tried yeah, to Yeah, that's tempo. kind of my play style sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> even that one. Oh, and you have the returning gold coin too, the unlimited finger. So that's actually really funny. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> That's a lot of stats. Oh my gosh, Tice, are you gonna die? Tice, no. I'm not gonna die here, right? Uh, uh, How much is this? 20? 31? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need to make a plan fast. Right, at least you're not a solicit <laughs> All right, you're in a tough turn. I'm going to get out of your ear. I'm going to go catch up with Slissa. Yeah. All right, Slissa, I see that you just took an eighth place. We didn't even really had time to get around to you. What went wrong, <laughs> Slissa? Nothing. <laughs> I faced the wrong person at the wrong time. I had Gold didn't know me. And I was so huge, but I queued into Crip, who had just gotten ah, at least Caligos. one or two Caligos, and he had scaled as well. I, I'm quite large. I wouldn't be surprised if my ghost hurt someone. Gotcha. Because it was just like, um, I, I just feel like I was queuing into very unfa like very unfavorables at the wrong time because I was scaling really well, very early golden Nomi, getting all the elementals. So I just saw uh, unlucky, I think. Yeah, just maybe the the bad match making at the wrong time right you didn't want to hit crip exactly then if yeah. you had like another turn or two maybe you felt like you would have been able to crush the rest of the lobby yeah i was i was quite large so i i, I wouldn't be shocked if my if my ghost hurt someone <laughs> <laughs> whoever's facing me this turn all right well we're gonna hop in with your teammate victor and see if maybe he can avenge you we'll be right back okay <laughs> All right, Victor, so you're the lobby leader. You're going up against Crip. Crip looks so big at this point. Yeah, Crip oh, hires no. so hard. Double Calic yeah. here on turn 10. It's a lot of stats on those dragons. Oh, I was yeah. actually preparing for a cast guard transition. You see, I have two Murdoch Tide Hunter here ready. Uh, wow. But I might not survive here. He's just way too big. Yeah, at this point, you're just trying to not take lethal damage. One thing I do realize is that this hero power is really good with Khadgar. It's energized really oh, yeah. well. Well, I survived. 2 HP. I gotta go now. We take those. Top four. Go fast. Only got 70 seconds. Okay, good luck. Another token. Need a brand, Bob. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. 
Uh, that's actually not what we're looking for, but you really just yeah. need a brand. It's true, but maybe as a final opportunity to get an extra triple, but yeah, you're right. I, like what you were looking for. You're down a minion I can make like five triples here, but it might not be enough. I, I also do not have time because I didn't DC. I have to just go with this. Alright. <laughs> Up in the world. Oh my gosh. This is not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> You're still collecting triples oh. and there's two seconds left. Oh. Victor, no. <laughs> no. Alright, also the position is terrible. Right, I'm oh. used to this anyway, so I don't feel bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gave it a good effort, though. I think people are impressed that you, at least you identified the line correctly. But yeah, Cat yeah, Guard first and a. There's just no way I beat this guy with the board I had. That's my only out. Yeah. yeah, I think most people can agree that you needed to go for it and it, it didn't pay off, but it most likely wouldn't have helped you survive it. Yeah. Still a top four, though. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You and just also, stay consistent. and also took a lot of Calicos away from the pool. It's super hard to discover because there's only seven in total. It's also a good point. Um, oh my gosh, no damage. All right, we're going to hop on board with Kibler. And you know what, Victor, you got the top four. All right, see you. All right, Mr. Kibler, systematically killing off player after player. It's down to <laughs> Crip versus Kibler. Who's going to win? Have you played against Crip at all yet lately? I, I don't think I've actually seen Crip for a lot of turns. Gotcha. I think uh, last time Crip and I fought was like turn four or something like that. I think we're in a pretty solid spot. Uh, you do seem like you're in a pretty solid spot. You got really right. big elemental thanks to Nomi. Oh, so many Selementals. Alright, Nomi, you're out of here. She's done well. She cooked up quite the feast. That one might make all the difference. It's good to get some minions in play. Alright. I think nice. this might do it. Alright. <laughs> it's a lot. There's a big amount of stats. I but so I you're feel like saying I, there's a chance. I feel like I gotta warn you, he's Crip a, also oh, has big stats. He's got too. a lot of stats too. Okay, okay. Yeah. He might be actually be bigger. He doesn't have a, a uh, Nadina though, and that's a really big deal. Though my wildfire getting blocked by the elixir kind of stinks. Yeah. Especially because it had divine shield too. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. All right, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Okay. Just Razor Gore lit. Okay, but I know he has the Elystra now, that obviously changes things. It does, and it gives a little bit of positioning opportunity now that you've identified that. Right, exactly. Oh, there's another uh, Crackling Cyclone, and we can actually triple on it with the Faceless, too. That's huge. And that actually just eliminates Elystra right away. Exactly. Love that. Big plays. Boom. Um, we're just gonna roll for more big stuff, I think. Seems well. There's another likely. triple. <laughs> Let's play this. What we have is now we play this. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, okay. Well, that's a hundred and ten, hundred and eight party elemental. I'd say that's pretty the good. The party is in fact started. Another elemental. I love the greed, Kibler. You know, I was kind of thinking about poisonous, given how powerful the dragon stats nope, are. No, nope. <laughs> more stats, it. more, more stats. elementals. Yes, we're. St <laughs> I mean, the poisonous is actually better, but <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, the Ginny could give you anything. It'd give you a third little rag to get you more stats. It could be anything. It could be another actually, little rag. Exactly. Well, I, a third I think little rag. <laughs> I realize you're not on ta Tavern Tier Six, though. So, uh, oh yeah, it's true. I can't. I can't. Okay. So well, I want to lead with this for the Elystra. Mm -hmm. So this actually gets another hit on something else. I like it. I like it. You didn't have any like cleave type stuff. 
I think I think this is good. This is looking good. It, it's looking good. You got an Adina though. I could be in trouble if there's an Adina. Yes, that is true. So I guess only time That's will tell. And real scare. He's he's level break. five though. He's tier five. He can't actually just buy an Adina. He'd have to triple. I don't think he tripled because he has a, he has Calicos and uh, yeah. So I don't think he has an Adina. I don't think he could have gotten one. Oh, okay. Well, the, oh. Uh, he went one step he, further. He knew that I knew. <laughs> yeah. This is some, uh, this is some Sicilian, you know, won't drink the, the drink in front of me stuff going on. Right. And if he knows that you know he knows, that changes yeah, everything. But... Whoa. Look at that. Boom. Mr. Brian Kibler <laughs> with the lethal hit. You know, usually you're sitting next to me and we get to commentate someone else win. So what an interesting role reversal here. Congratulations, Mr. Kibler, winning that first lobby. Thank you. Thank you. I have to give it to, uh, to Nomi. Nomi cooked up a good one. Mm. Mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs>
that got the double buff, really and then now, then Katoon. Oh jeez, that's really rough. That's really rough. Okay, let's see what's in the box here. Okay. Oh, these two are good yeah. though. I will. I will wait. Sorry, man. I have to wait. <laughs> That's okay, I'm here for the ride. This is a lot of stats. Every single elemental <laughs> gets big buffs, and now you look as strong as those other big tempo heroes. Uh, mm -hmm. What does Collins have? I, I don't have access to, to hover over. What, what's his allocate looking like? Uh, he's beast three. Okay. Hmm. Beast three on level three. That doesn't sound... Can start like this, but I kind of still like to start biggest boy a bit in... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I think. You know what? I will end with the four. I will end with the five five to do extra damage to nice. him. I feel strong. I like that. I like that. Yeah, there's a couple different strategies. People like to use like try to go for kill as many things as you possibly can. And some people are saying I want to do as much damage as I can. I, I, I think there's no way I lose this. So I like it. I like it. Um. So does this does this encourage you to just try to force elementals, or do you feel like you're still open and you're just trying to play your best board, and it just happens to be elementals? Um, I mean, for me, I had just one direction at the start that was elementals. For the later, I mean, this is not really necessarily a Nomi board, but I mean, I, you can I get two good, I get like four extra buffs for every elemental I buy, so I think we're going elemental way here. True. Boy, you look a lot stronger than Collins, that's for sure. Yeah, everything's trading over. Okay, well, you got the win, and now you're feeling good. So it's funny because now you can level and play your map immediately, but you still won't play the one for Tavern Tier Three, which is hilarious. Your minions <laughs> really pulled their weight. Well, that's the level. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. The Heartbringer works for now, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an. You have two. You have three taunts. I like it a lot. Yes, three towns, so pretty good. All right, okay. Hmm. Let's try to buff the towns. Okay, well, it looks like you're doing pretty solid, and let's go ahead and check on Crip, who you're going to be playing, so good luck in your next fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we're hopping on board with Kriparian. Still at 40 HP. It seems like this uh, hero early game is pretty solid, don't you think? It is pretty good. I did start with double Acolyte of Cthune. I found one turn one, and then I had a really good board when I was going to two, so I froze for it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you get the right cards for your, uh, your hero, you're going to do pretty well, and I guess I did. <laughs> Uh, the Mama Bear is a great transition card because I, I think I'm supposed to do a beast build with this hero. Right. Uh, and we'll see. <laughs> I guess if it works out or not. Yeah, we'll see. Tice looks pretty intimidating. He found that Harbinger, so yeah, that's, that's a big power spike. The uh, Karaj Harbinger, the, the thing that buffs the, the adjacent minions and the taunt dies, it's huge power spike up until like turn 8 or so. And then it's not really very good at all. So Ooh, nice. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, seems pretty solid to me. Kind of like banking gold here. Ooh. Hmm. Not much for beasts, but probably good enough anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going up against dog. Uh, what does Dog's composition say right now on the menu? Uh, well, I beat him a few turns ago, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're feeling confident? No, no, that was the actual Lord Barov. So Dog is playing fake Lord Barov, the Sir Finley. Uh, the real Lord Barov is playing demons. I don't know what Dog is playing. But uh, he went to Tavern 5 after losing one okay. to Ragnaros, which is looking pretty strong. So, I don't imagine he's going to be that strong with no triples here. I think I should have this pretty easily. I'm just trying to get the five and see if I can get some demons. Turn eight's going to be a big one with the Darkman prize. Well, hopefully, anyway. All right. Well, let's see how strong Dog is here. What? Dog's okay. gone. 
assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to catch up with Dog real quick. Good luck in your next upcoming fights. Thank you. All right, Dog. So it looks like we got the chef, what Nomi. Up? I saw you typing in chat between games saying that you thought that maybe you'd be underestimating Nomi a lot. Was this directly inspired by it or just happens to you? Uh, a little bit of both. I, uh, maybe I do underestimate the panda. <laughs> He's so cute, you know? That's right, and a good chef to boot. Yeah, apparently. We'll see how good of a chef he is. I'll be the judge of that. All right, prize time. Let's see. Oh, so fast. Uh, I know. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm passing. There was, there was, there weren't very many good options, yeah, sadly. Yeah. What was that? Things, things crazy. I'm not getting many elementals though. Nomi needs to be better. Actually, Bob needs to be better. Yeah, it's true. Should I even take this? Eh, probably not yet. Uh oh. oh no. Oh, there's a second Nomi. All right. Well, we're elementals. There you go. There you go. And you got immediately the uh, element, or not this element, the refreshing anomaly if you want. Yeah, I think I just need to live here. Oh no. Uh oh. Where are you? Oh no. I have to commit. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You know, uh, well, maybe next turn will go better. <laughs> well, it was fun anyway. <laughs> it's almost next turn, unless unless I die, and then there's no yeah. next turn. But so you chose Lord Barov as the hero power. Do you like that as a choice, or were you just you know evaluating the relative power options and you weren't given anything better? Uh, he's like a good this bad hero. So he's like. Uh, he has a lot of potential to get first because he's like really hit or miss, right, basically. Right. Oh, he doesn't know me also. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm dead here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And they have the Nomi and they got the buffs, clearly. I had two Nomis. I should have won. Double the Nomi. Just quick maths. Now, the question <laughs> I want to ask is, are you going to kill a minion? Okay. <laughs> I did kill a few, but uh, I think I'm dead. That's exactly. Oh, oh no! Sorry, we're bad luck. What went wrong? It, it was, was the panda. panda. <laughs> he killed oh, me. Baited. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry to see that dog. I, I feel partially responsible. <laughs> Caster crits. We'll we'll go ahead and move off of you next time. Oh. All right. Let's hop yeah, on board please. with the Collins and see what's up with him. This was a really important turn. I leveled and I opened up the uh, the prize that I saved. Didn't hit a Goldrin, so now I have to. Now I have to figure out what we're actually doing in this game. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I could do Scallywag. Um, Eliza. Scallywag Pirate Comp. It's true. You do have the ability to keep buffing it. I don't know if I actually so, want to do that. Yeah, it feels I, like your board gets a lot weaker from yeah, it, even though yeah, it's cool. I cooler. think I still try to force Goldrin just roll and hit it. Um, yeah. Let's see. A couple of life things. I could have picked up a life thing earlier, but it really didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. This seems pretty awkward. <laughs> yeah, it's, we'll see what we can do. It, it is a little bit awkward, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, how's the Nat Pago been working out for you? Have you been playing it, him first a lot? So uh, it was it was between Nat Pago, uh, Light Fang Brand. <laughs> oh, interesting. And I took I took the Pago. I've gotten four cards out of it. So it, it's been working out. Um, it, it's it's oh, what yeah. allowed us to level um, to six here without taking too much damage. But uh, you know we're we're nearing the end of its usefulness cycle. So uh, that's why I was hoping to get the golden here. Then I could really uh, feel at ease because I would know what I was doing. But now I have to like you know make this random stuff work. Yeah, that's right, and, th and <laughs> this Maiev is pretty big. Hitler's got a lot of stats going, so... Oh my gosh! A Zap yeah. pops out! Yeah, the, oh, the, 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 the no. damage. I'm hoping no one dies here. <laughs> if no one died, maybe we fight the dead Rough guy. Battle. 
Now we could do something for him. Okay, okay, you're playing Crip now. Better hire a recruit while you can. Yeah, Is it Golden or Bust? It somewhat feels that way. It's but I've pigeoned my myself into this. Okay. Little bit. Okay. Um, this is only six cleave, so it's actually not that. It's it's okay since I could go. I could buff it a little bit with the right, right. Admiral, but it's still not like I have two. Not amazing. Pairs, I could still hit. Not hitting it. No. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. We got the triple. It's 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 still not great because even if I hit it now, um, I still have the death rattle there. True. Okay, so we have a uh, tide razor. Probably should have played this a little bit earlier. The Sarlisk. Yeah. So I could do something with this. Maybe that's like our one way to. Get some that's value. True. That's true. You might be able to find a way for the tide, the tide razor to pull you back in. Yeah, the positioning though is super awkward. It it very much is. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing. The pack leader is it even that good? Because we only have the infested wolves, so we'll see. Oh, I'm I'm crossing this, my fingers. This looks tight. this looks like Keep death to me. Yeah, this looks pretty doomed. Yeah. How big is Crip? He's not that big, but we hit his comp makes sense, right? Where ours does not. So I think that's gonna be the uh, deciding factor. Oh, the boat! We lost. Yeah, we lost. Oh no! I think if our Eliza didn't get sniped, we'd still die. <laughs> but we would die less hard. You know, that's really what matters. It's true, and. At this point, if you lost, period, you would be dead, right? So it didn't matter if it was like, well, we lose less badly. <laughs> At yeah. this point, it's like a full board still that stays alive. Yeah. This is crazy. Our, our goal was to hit the Goldrun. I think if I hit the Goldrun, we'd be in a completely different spot and we'd be, you know, at the top instead of at the bottom. So, gotcha. uh, had a had a game plan, didn't work out here. Didn't work no out. No problem. All right. So our top four is settled there. Let's go ahead and check in with, uh, let's see, RDU. We haven't t talked to him yet. All right, Radu. Cthune made it to the top Hello. four, so I guess you can just concede now, right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> now is when I'm trying to win. Like, I had a pretty good start with this hero. Takes some time to get going, but... Once you get going, it's really nice. I, I have never gotten in first place with Cthulhu. I've gotten second many times. I've gotten top four like three times as much as I've gotten second with Cthulhu. I don't think I win ever with Cthulhu. I actually don't think I won a game either. Maybe like one. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't know. <laughs> I also didn't have a start as good as this. Sure. So what was your start like? Uh, just like super early, uh, nice level up into deflect though. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Well, at least we can hero power. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a fancy play. I bought this needs because initially I thought I'm gonna use it, but now I decided to sell it because egg is better. I think a second reset for Deflectors is like my highest chance to win. Oh, and he gets the buff, so it's a 1-6, so it will attack. I like it. Oh. Yeah, I also sniped the Mama Bear, which is pretty lucky. It's huge. I think it should be fine, as long as the Diaphragm doesn't go crazy. Yeah. I have a lot of stats oh. and two resets. That was big, though. The Diaphragm traded uh, with no board space, so that's a good big win. All right, yeah, Radu. Yeah. All right, I see you. Looking good. I'm still scared of that Kargar, though. Yeah, it's a lot of stats still. Nice. Okay. Okay. I think it's also a kill. Ooh, exact lethal. Mm, you love to see it. Well, unless you're a crimp fan, yep. then, you, then you obviously hate it, but. Nice job, Radu. So now we're in the top two, going up against Tice. A little G2 face-off. 
Ooh, double attack on deflect though. Huge. That's really big. So we're in that spot where if we find a third deflecto bot, we do we want to buy that? I don't think so, right? No, I was offered the third deflecto bot like three turns ago, and I declined it because I think uh, you want the spread on the divine shields. Makes sense to me. I, I would triple the egg. Look at the deflecto. Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. buy it. I, I think it's bait. <laughs> I think it's bait. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if like I kind of want the third egg at the same time. I'm okay if I don't get it. Not even sure if I should buy the tavern goer. Right. Probably not. Let's just roll. Another deflector. The game is no, just trying yeah, now to it's, bait it's me. It's trolling you yeah, because it's like, imagine if you picked up all deflectors. Now you'd have uh, a golden one and you'd have another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Ah! What? The game just keeps giving me deflector so mode. troll. I don't want them. Hmm. No thank you, game. I'm it's good. It's not worth. Tice is at 30 HP. That's really scary. I'm positioning my um, droplet later to play around the uh, wildfire. I like it. Hope that AOE doesn't uh, destroy the egg too early, right? Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> I think he has a little bit too many stats. Yeah. And the Alaki hero powers don't even gain the Vine Shield. I still think second place as Kutun is really good. Yes, I agree. The game also ended super early. Like, if the game would have lasted, I don't know, eight more turns, I would have won. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I think that a lot of times if you get second with Kutun, that feels like a first. So good job, Ryder. Well done. And hey, a G2 top two. Thank you very much. Yeah, losing to my teammate is uh, also The nice. only way you want to go out. If you're going to lose, it better be the dice. Yep. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. Radu takes the second place. G2 with a sweep for the top two as Tice now moves into second place. But RDU with that third and second will be in first. Crip tied with him, and then Kibler rounding out our top four. For the rest of the lobby, Pretty close, but very far behind the other half as Victor, Slissa, Educate Collins, and Dog are five to three points. What's up, Victor? Talk to me about some of your choices. Millhouse or Ragnaros, I think is what people gravitate towards. Is there any other picture you're considering here? Yeah, this is a tough one. I'm looking at Max or Ben, so I'm leaning towards Millhouse more than Rag because mm -hmm. Ragnaros' uh, hero power synergizes with uh, Deflectobot mostly. And Dragon is available. A lot of the token minion, the economy generators are available. So I'm going to go for with uh, go with Melhouse here. Oh, I I'm trying to be optimism. economy efficient and then trying to triple into a Caligos. Hey, or I can go Menagerie. There are choices. Uh, no token on the first shop here, though. A little disappointing. It's very disappointing and all too common. That's what I was saying. I love your optimism that you think that you can get tokens early because I very rarely do as Millhouse and I'm always like, ah, I'm just floating gold. The Dark Swabi is also pretty good. It's count as a token because they allow you to level one gold cheaper. I yeah, just buy this mini here. I don't. I really don't like Red Weaver without um floating water on four now. That's true. Floating Watcher not being in the game makes uh, the Wrath Weaver dynamic uh, a lot harder to justify sometimes. And demons, demons were in a good spot, and I, I think right now people are still trying to figure out what they can do with some of the new additions. Uh, demon just doesn't steal to uh, Melhouse very well, because in order to get a lot of demons, you need to be rolling a lot, and Melhouse in the mid game cannot roll. It's true. So it's true. I opt to not take the demon route here. We got a token plus. Um, Beast combo here. It's not the strongest, but it'll it's pretty good tempo pretty and economy as well. That's good. When, when you look at um, the rest of the lobby complexion in terms of the heroes, do you feel like this is a powerful lobby, or do you feel like it's uh, you know one that you feel like you're on the better end of stuff with Millhouse? Uh, this is a powerful lobby. I see Crip on Finley here. Go, you least hero power. And Tice is also on a natural elise. Two elise lobbies are just insanely like strong lobby, right? And also you have uh, RDU on the Reno here. Reno have a lot of potential to win. 
if you hit a powerful 5 drop or 6 drop. And we also see a lot of strong top 4 heroes like um, Colin on George, uh, we see Dog and Ray Cannon Shoe, those are very strong uh, top 4 heroes that have a strong mid game. So I think this Look. is going to be a hard one if I don't hit the Caligos. Alright, well you got a pretty interesting shop here. Yep, we got an early triple here. Mm -hmm. down a minion and up a go I'm actually gonna buy the hyena first and then lock this triple. Interesting. I'll buy this slowly. Um, I want to get a triple when I'm on tier 4 at least, trying to hit that mm -hmm. brand. If I get good minions um, next to the Acolyte of Cthun, I can even go for a tier 6. Yeah. I can get a strong board, I can lock the triple for a long time, I can actually get a tier 6. Yeah, it's a really good point. I think a lot of people like wonder about how to balance that, right? Like how off, how long am I going to freeze this for versus uh, go for the immediate triple? Yeah, oh my gosh, There are a lot of factors happening? that go into it. What is happening? Wow. I'm high rolling. <laughs> yeah, I think here it's actually better to take the gacha gift. A gacha gift. Okay. Um, it's because we need more economy to in order to buy all this good stuff in the shop. Interesting. I like it. Um, I'm actually not act. going to take the triple here. Take the dragon spawn. It's a dragon. Right. The dragon gives you opportunities to build into it. Oh, I don't really have a choice, huh? No. I can't hold this actually, it's not bad. I'll just hold this because my board is already strong enough. Oh, that's clever. That was kind I of like a last that. minute decision, but I think this is a good yeah. hold. You know, Victor, you have some really hard turns, and I think it's really interesting to watch, but I also don't want to distract, so I'm trying to stay quiet. Oh no, this is our bird doing a lot of damage here with the revives. Or it's like we're we go. just gonna nice. win though. Alright, alright. Are we coming up on the prize as well, I believe? So, or we just played the prize. So this is a really interesting turn here to see uh, what you end up doing. Your minions really pulled here I think we just uh, swap one minion and level here. The grandmother is looking pretty good. There's two bees on one minion here. Can buff my hyena to pretty big. I think we want to keep the taunt. Let's get rid of the alley cat here. And just keep freezing all the way up. All right. Yep. Looks like your game plan is set. We're going to check back in because I feel like we're, uh, we're going to end on a high note. I don't want things to go south and then feel responsible for it. So let's go ahead and check in on RDU, who's on Reno. All right. Thank you. All right, Radu. So looking at your start, looks like you got uh, a Midas Stormwind uh, dynamic going on here. You're, are you feeling good about your Reno start here? Uh, yes, but I need a triple, or I need to like put myself in a position where I can find a triple to go try to discover a five star. So next turn I need to get a pretty good outcome. Like this is going to carry me for like one or two more fights, but if I whiff in the next uh, turn, it's still gonna not go well. Right, right. But it's a good spot. It's a good spot. I cannot complain. Yeah, you need to find something that you want to use your hero power on. And uh, the later you use it, the less turns you have of it impacting the game. So, <laughs> I, yeah. I, yeah, I don't exactly. know how many games you've had, Radu, where you've died not using the Reno you know, Hero Power, but I am so sad whenever it happens. It's happened to me more than I'd like to. It doesn't happen that often to me. <laughs> I, I like to think that uh, I can go into defense mode right. and just like heal power anything just to like get one more turn if I feel like I'm in danger. Yeah, it's just that like one of these things where you're at like 19 health and you're like, okay, I think like maybe I should be able to survive. And then you realize you've fallen off way over a cliff and you just take like 22 and then like you went from like fourth to, to seventh. It happens so often. This. Yeah, it's really bad when it happens. <laughs> Uh, I'll get the ward and I'll fold. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so elemental gives you a pair. I see their and I'll just keep it in my hand. This is pretty okay. Okay, ramping up eco. Should put this faster. 
Yeah, he's looking fine. Yeah, and I think that partially what makes it like a good position is because Reno doesn't have a hero power that impacts the early game. So theoretically, you know, other people should be getting the edge over you slightly every single time. And you're pretty healthy at 38. So it feels like this is a spot where Reno can um, definitely win. Uh, <laughs> I think Reno's very first or eighth, in my opinion. I think you're leaning more towards the first than the eighth here. Yep. We'll see. Uh, you're going up against... Kibler, so let's go ahead and check in on him and see how he's doing. Good luck, Ryder. Thank you. All right, Mr. Kibler, aka Uther Lightbringer, how is everything looking? Wow, an early mama bear, and you want to be playing beasts. This has got to be feeling pretty good, huh? Yeah, I, I you know I feel like the uh, the mama bear at this point, turn six, is obviously pretty powerful. We're a little weak right now, you know, uh, but I feel like if we can find some good beasts, especially with the great bow power. Uh, we should be able to, uh, you know, get back in it pretty handily. Yeah, I think so as well. And you know, this battle actually didn't even go as as badly as it yeah, looked. It wasn't bad. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things about, about Greybow. You know, like, there I only had the one, uh, the one Scallywag. But that Scallywag starting turn one has been just so good. You know, like, it's the Scallywag, then the Imprisoner, like, each helping me win tons of fights. Uh, you know, thanks to the, the bonus stats I'm getting from the hero power. Right. Uh, Ooh. Cave Ooh. Hydra and the Infested Wolf. Wow. Big pickups. Yeah, feeling good about that for sure. I don't think we're going to freeze for any of these little guys because we got we got big fellows who are coming in. So Fair enough, fair enough. Does uh, the fact that Tice at 40 scare you at all? <laughs> he's at Elise again, and then it feels like he's going to be... He's Elise again? Yeah. I, didn't even, I didn't even notice Tice was Elise again. <laughs> I mean, that is that is pretty scary. Elise is uh, so far 2-0 and in these uh, these games. She's pretty strong, I heard. But, uh, I think I'm, pr I'm pretty strong right now. I feel I feel all right. Yeah. But, you know, Elise going to 5 here could have some powerful stuff, too, for sure. Right, right. And then, do you feel like you're just going to stay on beast for the rest of the game here? Or is there any opportunity? Because I know you have a lot of pirates, and there were pirate opportunities earlier. Yeah, I mean, I you know I don't really have much experience with, with Grey Bow. I think that, that like, you know, we're, we're obviously looking to possibly try to take advantage of the hero power. Beasts, like, drop off pretty quickly if you don't get, like, the optimal, optimal stuff. So I'm a little concerned um, if, you know, we, we end up not being able to find, say... Uh, Macaw plus uh, Goldrin ultimately. And that was not a great attack for me. Either. Yeah. But we do have at least the imp helps protect the mama bear. Right. So hopefully. Yeah. Well, this guy unfortunately attacks in and dies. You see, you got. Nope, 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 nope. Rude. <sighs> no. That was all bad. All bad. Yeah. At least these guys. There we go. You win the fight against that. All right. To lose, okay. but not that bad. Yep, it could have been worse. And you know, Tice is scary. So, at, oh yeah, that's a that's a big board. Yeah, at least you won't be playing him in the very near future. I've got some fresh recruits for you. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. If evolving tavern is kind of appealing, if only for trying to find that golden I'm talking about. Um, though we're on four right now, so we're still pretty far from it. I don't know if I can really afford to, to be that speculative. I might just take coin and go digging. Yeah, it's given that you're 15 HP, it might feel like you're in kind of preservation mode as opposed to like trying to spike. Right. Yeah, ugh. I kind of want to level, but at the same time, you know, Solicit just hit for 16. I'm at 15. We have a lot of improvement that I can make on my, my composition right fair now. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm gonna get to rolling. All right. Go ahead and Pound master, one of these interesting. Recruits. We're just gonna invest in the future here, I think. That's right. Actually, just kidding. There's that too. Here's a gold for the pirate All right. stocks. There we go. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we, we just have some pairs here. Like I was saying, I need. To, I really want to try and find a Goldrin, right? Like, if we are going to be a beast comp, mm -hmm. Goldrin is by far the most important thing. And th these are pairs of units that work well with my hero power. Right, right. So. No, that makes sense. Fortunately, one off being able to kill that there. Oh, so many one offs here. This is. This is. It's oh, tragic. Yeah, this is like disaster. It's tragic. Everything's shaping up kind of awkwardly. Wait. 
These at least are buffed by the hero power and the mama bear, but that's an aided. Ugh. Ugh. This is ugly. Yep, taking a big chunk of damage. I am alive. I'm at like two here, right? Okay. I, yeah. I feel bad. I feel like things were looking okay, and then we started watching. So we're going <laughs> to head out, and good luck, Kibler. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I don't even get the ghost. Okay. All right. All right. Oof. <laughs> Okay, Slissa. So it looks like you are just crushing people and pressuring their life totals pretty significantly. Uh, and you found the gold. Uh, oh, sorry, I was I was looking at someone else's board. Looks like you're you're doing pretty well for yourself. Yeah, I was like me. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Um, just trying to like get back in the game, find direction. I have I have a menagerie direction. The problem is I don't have brand or light fake. I'm just kind of forcing what tempo i can find um but haven't found like a good opportunity to level right and you're like holding pairs and... yeah i got a lot of pairs going on here kind of awkward so i'm trying to figure out so i have a dragon an elemental and a beast so i can play this jug but i don't think i can go grab the argus because i think that would make me significantly weaker yeah, uh, the yeah. challenge is that in order to do that, you'd have to sell off a pretty sizable minion, and you don't want to part ways with a big yeah. elemental just to get a slight buff on your minions, right? Yeah, and then I have to decide, mm -hmm. do I want cleave first? Is it big enough yet? It's like, this is 24 attack, and this is 18 twice. I think it's probably big enough now. I've been waiting a bit. If he's dragons, too, with Rakanishu, he's off probably menagerie as well so he i bet he has divine shields that this could work on oh nope <laughs> yikes he has the light thing that's what yeah. i want why couldn't you just do that just get the light thing uh, you, yeah, just get it. <laughs> oh no this <laughs> train is so bad the 12 12 it's the very 12 one. very oh, bad man. we needed like one extra attack on the cave hydra it wasn't ready yet <laughs> So this is like the... kind of scrapped at top four, right? They're like kind of like look for ways to. That's what, yeah. That's that's the goal here is to top four. I'm, I, this isn't unless I like scam something crazy. The goal of this game is definitely top gotcha. four. What's like a scam type thing that you could even pull off here? I don't know. I, I'm, ha I'm having a hard time imagining it. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Because I really have to triple into Brand. It's just so yep, late. Yep. Though I am facing. Collins, who's on George, and I have a ghoul right in front of me, but it's so weird as Alec here to grab a yeah, ghoul. Yeah, it feels de definitely a little strange, <laughs> especially if you have your divine shields going on. So we'll leave you to it. Let's check in with Collins and see how he's doing. Thank you. Yeah, let, and let me know. All right, hey, up, we Collins? just hit the nuts. That's a great point. You hit the nuts. What? You hit the jewel, thing. McCall, the golden one. You have Goldrin. Yeah. Do you already have an Elystra? You do not. I don't. Looking solid. I just need to figure out what I'm actually selling. I think I'm not playing the Elystra. I think I'm selling the Ogre. Um, mm -hmm. Well, the Ogre gives me plus four, plus four. So I'm going to hero power the Hydra and just play the play the Goldrin here. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, is it just for the gold efficiency? That you're not playing Lystra? I don't need it either. Yeah, that's true. And I guess it's because, uh, from some people's perspective, like if you played a Lystra over another weaker minion, you could uh, get slightly better tempo. But yeah, I think you're right. Like it's not super impactful at that point. Oh jeez. Oh no. It's not that bad. The unstable ghoul. It's not that bad. Okay. Oh, that thing is. Oh, that thing is. That's like sometimes a good sign, but also not. They're good. Yeah, I Whoa, just need. This one's close. Yeah, I just need more, more beasts. Okay. And and uh, and a baron, and I'm solid. That's right. That's right. It's pretty oh, tight lobby oh, though. Two people just died. Or more macaws as well. I'll take that for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so we just need to find some beasts. This is a beast I could probably switch that out. I need how many beasts? Mm -hmm. Three. Three beasts at the moment. Ideally, but a macaw's another beast. Yeah, I I, I wasn't I wasn't including the macaw. Got it. I have one more roll. Baron, one time. I could get the high, no. you know, but I can't hero power if I do that. So is a ten ten divine shield better than a two two? <laughs> Talk I mean, you mean, right? Sometimes you gotta ask yourself the question. <laughs> Oh, no, for sure. And, and I think that the fact that it has taunt sometimes can be pretty important, right? Because the worst thing that could happen is uh, the Golden gets sniped immediately, and then you don't really get that benefit of stuff. But, I, I, yeah, you know, it's I, like you said, I you got to ask the question. probably hero power of the Golden next turn. Consider it. Okay. And we're going up against Victor on Millhouse. Uh, he's at 4 HP. Usually, I think Millhouse, uh, when they're like that, it's a good sign I, I because actually put they're, him they're the not four. high rolling. So, you put him the four. Yeah, Whoa. He wants that All right. So you're here to finish what you started. We'll see. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. More buffs. Big amalgam. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. I think this gas core is going to really determine a lot here. Trades. Oh, it kills it. And... Yeah, we got it. No. Oh, oh Victor, man. Scary out. stuff, dude. <laughs> yeah. It was super close. One of those things where you're like, I don't trust a tech tracker at all. It says I'm 95% favored, and yet yeah. I'm like, it's coming down to this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't use it, so I don't, I don't get to know. I, I really, it's just, <laughs> it's just random for me. All right, all right, okay. Um, uh, hmm. we think so I could discover a tier six and maybe hit another gold run, or I could just give a friendly minion divine show, which is like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, I mean, it's, if only George had ways to give people divine shield, am I right? Oh, we got the other gold. That's nuts. I I okay. still need um, I still need the Baron. That's really what I have to roll for. That's true. Getting that extra activation, just having a golden macau doesn't seem like it's enough. Rolling, rolling. Don't need a that. mama bear. Is that better than a 10 10? You don't have any taunts. It's interesting. Yeah, but the, the most important thing is that I hit, uh, the, I Baron. hit the Baron. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, well, let's go ahead and check in with Crip. Good luck on your final turn here. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck on your cat. Thank you. I will need it. All right, Crip. So. Let's check in on your board. Okay, you got some Goldrin Baron Beast action, uh, which is interesting because you're going up against Collins, who uh, also has a lot of beasts. Yeah, there's a lot of beast players this game, and I've, I've never seen a, a Macaw, so that's, yeah, well, that's one thing. There's your answer. <laughs> if you notice where all the Macaws are. Yeah. I also haven't seen a Cleave. A lot of players seem to have that. Yeah, I'm pretty dead here. Yeah, just too much stats. Overall. Not really much to say. Uh, I think everyone raced for five and six to get beasts. And uh, honestly, I think most of the people that got beasts are still in the game. Yeah. Yeah, there's only one beast player out before this round for sure. And if you're not able to get those uh, really big pack full cards like you talked about, top four, I mean, that's as good as you can do, right? Yep. All right, so oh, the, sorry to, to hop in right as you died, but I think you did a great job. Let's have, hop back on board with Slissa and see what she's up to. All right, Slissa, I have good news. We did it. We're top three. We've actually improved <laughs> our expect, on our expectations. Can we go even further beyond? 
They don't call me scam queen for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what I'm selling here. I think I'm selling this thing. Let's see what this is. All right. Your demo summons. The lesson in pain. All right. <sighs> so I think one, two. Oh, I actually bought jug. I kind of did my ordering a little wonky. That's okay. No one will notice, right? No, no one's, one's watching. watching yet. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, the GD buffs, but it also detracts. What was he? He was beasts. Yeah. Ugh. If we're talking about scams, I there's think... only one card here that truly scams. <laughs> A cut above the rest. Yep. We... <laughs> you know how I like to scam. <laughs> We shall see. <laughs> you throw in a death rattle and say, help oh. me. <laughs> um, is that worth a freeze is the question. Eh, roll. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, okay. No, not worth a freeze. <laughs> I mean, two elementals for the buffs, but yeah, they don't really do enough, I think, here. Plus, yeah. I think you're about to see not... what Collins is up to, so... Oh no! <laughs> he has the Baron. <laughs> he didn't have the Baron last time I checked in with him, so oh. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. And last time I faced him, I I, I scammed a bit of a ghoul in there, and I, I couldn't get to it this right, time. Right. And you were able to survive. I think if that the ghoul was such a clutch call because it was able to preserve a lot of it. Yeah, I think it, it definitely helped me get into top three. I, it should have been top two. I did kill Brian Kibler, but you know. Ice block tier 12 or turn 12 prize got him to the final yeah. two. Well, I mean, Celissa, you were aiming for top four and it looks like you landed third. So I got to say, <laughs> pound the back, uh, another scam ball. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hop on board with uh, Kibler and see how he's going to try to turn this one around on uh, Collins, who's the front runner here. All right, Kibler. So the showdown has been set. Can he repeat as another winner? And it's a beast build from Kibler, a beast build from Collins, whose beasts will reign supreme. That is a good question. Ooh, this Mirza would be excellent. Huh. Can't get rid of this because it's my only taunt if I want to use the... Uh, Another Mama Bear. That's not really very useful. <laughs> I was hoping to possibly hit the Baron so we could have triple Baron here. True, true. Um, hmm. I probably want this Unstable Ghoul against George. Usually Unstable Ghoul is pretty effective against Divine Shield boards, I'd agree. Do I even... I'm trying to figure out if I can even like really realistically put this Elystra in. I think I probably want it, but Elystra, he had Macaw before. I, I actually don't even know that I want the Elystra that I bought last turn in. Are we just going to chill like this? I think I might. I think we might just hang out like this. All right. I like it. I don't know if he has a cleave, which is why I have this positioned here to try and protect the Mama Bear. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think you're going to need a little help here from Gas Coiler if you want to. Oh, dance. my God. Yeah, that's a... Uh... <laughs> Well, at least we got rid of the Divine Shield. Yes. But a Golden Goldrin, I see why it was so hard for you to find more Goldrin. Yes. Uh, Crip had the, the, the Triple Baron, he had the Triple Goldrin. I only had the Triple Cave Hider, which is a lot less impressive. Yeah, that's right. I think everyone was kind of cannibalizing <laughs> each other's builds this game. But, I mean, if you're yeah. going to go down, you go down to some board like this so you know you didn't have a chance. I think it's second place, given uh, you know, missing some pieces there. He, he had the Omega now. Right, like, it doesn't get any better. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a lot. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Killer, another top finish. Uh, well done, and congrats on game number three finish. Here. Thank you. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. It's a ton of damage, and Ooh. Collins is gonna grab our win in lobby three. <laughs> So after three lobbies, Mr. Brian Kibler and Kriparian sit tied at 15 points. RDU and Collins and Tice all tied for third place.
And then Slissa, 12 wins, and Dog kind of bring up the rear. Dog lagging behind the rest. Not looking good for our hero, Dog. But no, at the same time, he can still fight for pride and perhaps uh, placement standings. And we'll see what's going to happen in Lobby 4. Tice, you've got tickets this time around. You know, Are we going to be able to bring it home for game number four? I hope so. That's the plan. Yes. So, you know, we didn't get a chance to chat. Yeah, last game ended yeah, quickly. Yeah, talk to me about what happened <laughs> in game number three there. It looked like it was pretty solid. I'm like, okay, we can get to Tice eventually. And then uh, all of a sudden, it seemed like he got out in six there. Yeah, I uh, I leveled up with Elise to five. I kind of missed there. Baron Riven there was my best. Then I leveled up uh, to six to hopefully get, like, Kelly Goss or any direction. But... Uh, I got nothing. What did I even pick? I think I picked Wool, and I tried to go Beast, and then I I didn't find a single Beast. Yeah. <laughs> so there, it ended very. Would fast. you like to know why? I'm sure you know why. I think it's because three of the top four players all had almost fully fleshed out Beast Welcome builds, back. so that's probably why. Didn't find going beast. Out there. Yeah, that's what I figured out yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, taking this passive to get. Two Dark Moon Fair prizes uh, every single opportunity. I think a lot of people, you know, feel like that's a pretty powerful and impactful thing. You just got to survive and make sure that you can get those really powerful prizes. Yeah, pretty. I, I feel there is like pretty big power spike because uh, in general the Dark Moon prizes. So for Tickathers especially, just getting two prizes every prize round. Uh, yeah, very much so. And, you know, taking a look at the standings, you're just kind of like they're tied at third place with 11 points here. So you really got to go for that first. Yeah, in the middle, yeah, right? right in the middle there. So, so it's all or nothing. Oh, and I, I approve of this first or eighth gameplay. I like to do it, <laughs> but I also like to see other people do it as well. <laughs> nice work, all right. Keep up the pressure. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So we got a Murloc mm -hmm. pair, but you have to kind of part ways with it if you want to optimize your gold usage here. It's kind of awkward. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. I'm going to like, just going to get stronger. Yeah, three, four is better than a two, three. But arguable. I think so. I think a lot of people, you know, I just like to, at these turns, I just want to be as strong as I can, kind of. I agree, I agree. I think people say, like, oh, I heard pairs are super good, right? Pick up all the pairs, be a pair mm -hmm. gamer. And they forget that you have to sometimes win the tempo battle as well. Well, they've lost is five, for yes. example. <laughs> all right, now I'm excited to see what prizes you're going to get. Same. Let's see, let's find out. The battle is really raging out there. Okay. I think that's a discover. Yeah, Gacha Gift is really good. Hmm. I think we just refresh. Yeah, it's like three gold that you can get, so might help. And there you go. So looks like Tice is off to a pretty reasonable start. Full HP. Go ahead, Let's go ahead and check in on Crip, who's playing Millhouse and see his early game and how it's shaping up. All right, Crips. So full board mill house coming in hot. Wow, that's a fast start. <laughs> so well, mill house always the gets token? the really good starts. It's just uh, you got to find a way to navigate after the starts, which is the right, problem. Right. Yeah, I find that like I didn't mill get house quite really the, easy to run out of the stuff. treasures I was hoping for there. I had to go the one health on on minions and off the tavern. I don't even remember the last time I picked that. Good stuff. What were your other options? Uh, it was plus two, plus two to one minion or discover a one. Normally, discover one is not bad, but when you're rocking like a billion tokens, it's not not as good. Wow! Whoa, look at that. Wow! I don't even know what to do with that. Um. Okay, I think I know what to do with that. Yeah. No, I don't know what to do with that. Okay, I know what to do with that. Okay. We're gonna grade a little bit here. Fine, let's, let's do this just to have a powerful board to turn. And then we're gonna get a five drop, and I'm gonna try to hold the elemental behind in case we get Nomi, maybe. Yeah, I okay, mean, we'll it see. seems like 
you have a lot of options at your hand. You're holding uh, multiple pairs and you have a triple guaranteed. And, you know, the Murloc Tidehunter can give you some of that gold back as well. So it's, it's looking pretty solid for you, man. Or just don't whip. Just don't whip on your discovery. Gotta get... <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. We're against Janus. Last place, two triples. Mm -hmm. There's probably a four on the board, and the problem with the board like this is uh, when you have a lot of small things, the four drops just start to crush. Yeah. Like, there's no dragons in this one, right? Yeah. Something like the... Um, God, I'm terrible with names. Let's the 5-6 dragon that does, like, the cleave left to right. That would destroy me here, for example. Oh, yeah. That's okay, the four, the four Jan just got was uh, the mug. So that, that's tolerable. I'll probably lose this one, though, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, and you know, you do have that early HP lead. That wasn't a super good drop off the Shredder. It looks like everything should still be minimal in terms of the damage here. Alright, here we go. Alright. This is where we find out if we're getting in like first or sixth here on this triple. Let's find out together, shall we? Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> The game knows that you, no, you tap timer tiered up, right? Time. Wow, my turn timer is actually so short. Oh yeah, you have 30 seconds. Okay, um... Fine, I'll sell the token. I did get a brand. Wow. And deck swabby, double buff. Or double I reduction. Like Here's a gold for the trouble. Actually, I guess a micro machine pair. No, no, we're taking this because it's free gold. But I guess I don't play it because if I play it, it's not free gold. Fair enough. And then we're gonna have to roll again to five well next there. turn. This is this is gonna be a pretty bad yeah. loss, I think. Maybe I actually just stay four and try to play Murlocs. That's pretty dangerous to do. Yeah, you know, I wasn't really sure because be uh, we don't know how much damage you're gonna take, and this this could be a lot. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit. Mm. Let's see what we get on four. Thirteen. I probably have to stay on four a turn. I just don't really want to. We don't have demons uh, against Omu. Okay. How's it going out there? Okay. Does the mug make it appealing at all? Fine. Let's see what we get. Hydra's okay. Okay. So we sell that. Sell that to get economy. Let's get the beast. Yeah. I like it. Okay, that Whoa. is very good. Uh, oh my god. It's happening. I think I have to do this because, yeah, I might get that. That's very good. Whoa. Uh, does that triple? <laughs> that did not triple. We must band together, oh my gosh, it's happening. Yeah, it's an OMG, but I don't know if I can do it, because we're roping hard right now. Does Crip get it off in time? He gets the level. He's getting the triples. No, I'm, I'm gonna die. No, not like this. I'm dead. <laughs> I came a little bit too late and I acted too slow. I didn't think it'd be so crazy. It's okay, at least uh, you went out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> oh, no. That was a pretty big throw, though. That was a pretty yeah. big throw. Jaguar I got the achievements, so I know I'm dead. Yeah. Spo spoiler achievements here. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I could have survived that. Yeah, surviving wasn't wasn't too hard. I guess the attacks were not so good. Yeah. Right, right. And I think like maybe if you took the like, halfway play and played the cave hydra with the mug, maybe you could have taken out a couple, but. It's tough. You know, Crip, I respect uh, that you went for it. And, you know, first or eighth, and we take the eighth. For the show, game. of course. For the fans. It's all for the show. Let's hop on board with Kibler and see how he's doing. Kibler, so what you might have not seen was how many triple rewards were in Crip's hand. And he was your primary competition. Both of you are tied in first in points. Uh, you know, you got to be feeling good. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw him, like, going off tripling, and I was like, this has got to be some sort of, you know, like, brand Kagar shenanigans, and then he didn't even have a full board, and I was like, oh, something went very wrong. <laughs> he was like, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so we got, we made it to six, and the game hasn't realized this. They're not offering you many six, six drops here. <laughs> Well, I, I got this at least. Ooh. No. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna put this in. I will never be forgotten. Mm. I'm gonna buy another one of these. Yeah. I could have taken a Goldrin and didn't, because I didn't have really any other beasts, and I just mm. like you know feel like I can just kill people you with the Elystra and then killing none of my stuff. Right. Right. So. I love the uh, Elystra plus the. Tormented Ritualist dynamic, it's really fun. Just keeps buffing your board yeah. over and over, so it's a really good call there. Wait. What? Ooh, that was a good splitting. Uh, him, that's, uh, I'm, I'm so, it's so killer to be happy for your opponent in this scenario. I'd be so frustrated. It was like, just why'd you attack that one? Literally any <laughs> other mean, one. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously the worst thing for me, but, you know. Oh, and then my, my spawn didn't actually die. <laughs> Okay, this this can be really bad. I had someone get a bunch of Elystras against me out of uh, out of a uh, Sneed Cadgar and just kill me on like turn five, literally earlier today. So, so don't do this to me, dog. Okay, that's fine. This is going well for yes. me. He's in trouble. I mean, he's got a nice block. But... Okay. Really good. And but we're level six at thirty-eight and just hit him for a ton of damage. So. Feeling good. All right, let's. Let's Feels check good. in with Dog. I'm sure we'll be able, to be able to catch up with you later, Kibler. Good luck. Really Absolutely. All right, so we're over Whatever. on Dog's end here. Oh my, what is happening here? A golden primal bin. Oh no, it's happening again. Will it claim? I don't know if one? I'm gonna go off. I don't think I can. Mm. Uh, I can go off a little actually. That's what I would have picked. Quip couldn't. Quip died trying to do it. Can Quip died? I have an ice block though. That's the difference. That's true. Ice block diff. I think I'm just gonna die here. And then take the hit. Yeah, get the ice block off. I think that's probably the best idea, yeah. <laughs> and then next turn out time. Yeah. Still off my board, so I have more time. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I'm like preempted preparing, just like. Uh. Oh. I mean, it is pretty beautiful when it goes like this, though, and you're able to land a nice transition. Yeah. Hmm. Fucking hit. Okay, Malgadon. I need a rag. I'm gonna sell off everything else. It's not a rug. Better hire a recruit so it's while time. Go ahead and hire one of these it's a recruits. Triple brand. Okay. All right, I'll have to find one more token. <laughs> I'm definitely losing this well, fight. Yeah, I mean, it would say that you have a pretty low odds of winning against this board. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ugh. Collins is probably like super happy. He's like, oh god, I saw the triples. Am yeah, I gonna die? It's like... before. <laughs> Love it, the happy cap. Right. Oh man. Let's see. So triple see brand. Do this. Plus... I need some. Yeah, I need some rags. Maybe if I fight the dead guy also, that'd be nice. Nice. Ooh, going up against really House. More time. I don't know. I think I might have to wait another turn. I don't have enough tokens right now. It looks like I'll wait another time, but I'm against the uh, dead guy, so it's not the end of the world. Jesus. Oh, I could have gotten a free brand. Oh, but I got a triple here. Yeah, triple my X now. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to wait another turn. That's another triple, but I haven't found the. Uh... This is so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? All right, I should probably hold on to something, but I don't know how strong he was. He's probably pretty strong. I should probably not. Hmm. What do I want here? Oh boy, um, I'm trying to think if I can get away with not playing an Amalcadon here. If I could just play Coil, let me think. Because I could go with like Venom Strike and then I proc a bunch of Venoms, but that's probably not enough. I probably have to play Coil or Amalgadon at the very least. Uh, let's go with Venom Strike anyways. 
All right, next turn we'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> next turn. I believe, I believe. So we're looking for just Little Rag. Is anything else we're looking for? Yeah, I can actually end up going... Uh, potentially, I could end up going like the boat build, or not the boat build, the Eliza build, mm -hmm. but it's pretty hard because you need Baron, and you also need to taunt your Scallywag, and I need another Cadgar. And I already have a Golden Brand, so I should be like going something with Brand as opposed to the... the Boat, or not the boat build, what's it called? The Scallywag build, yeah. Yes, yes. So basically you get like what feels like infinite pirates charging your opponents. You and, uh, yeah, and buffing buffing. your board is crazy. It's pretty fun. But... Let's see if I'm alive. I think I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, so, well, there you go. Uh, I he was, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, he didn't have ice block like I did. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything because, you know, I didn't want to tamper with <laughs> yeah, it, but yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure you're okay if you didn't play the Amalgadon in the game. <laughs> 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 All right, let's we'll right. see if I have time to go off. I have a lot of actions to do. Well, that was it's kind of hard because it's not dragon through there. True. Also, it was a quick fight too, which is nice. Yeah, I don't think I can take that. Let's just look for tokens. Nice work okay. out there. Keep nice up seconds. the pressure. Nope, nope, nope. So many tokens. Right. Oh, you're moving up in the world. Oh my gosh, so many triples. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Each one is four triples. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the golden brand. No. Triples. Oh no. To cap your turn. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm almost out of time. Maybe I'll get another ice block. That's, just, <laughs> that's not an ice block. All right. All right. We don't have much time. Exactly what you Oh my god, I'm actually wondering about your hand space too. <laughs> you almost had full hand. It's ridiculous. I know, right? Oh, the other one's probably better. I need more Malgadons. Alright, found a little rag. Found a little rag. Safety restrictions offline. Harvesting servos engaged. I, I'm in favor of going fast and not thinking about it. Hey, a triple! Here's your reward. Oh my God, that APM! Oh, the rope. I mean, it's probably not enough. Ooh, that was a hard turn. That was really hard. You had 90 seconds. You went. <laughs> Zero to sixty instantly. I went very fast, but I don't think it was enough. Uh, it was fun though. Down a and up uh, it's doubtful. I don't even know what my secret is. Oh, it's redemption. Oh, I have another secret though. Okay. You're queuing up all these actions. Oh, I'm still behind Oh no! Run, my little rags! Run! It's too big. Oh. Mm. Uh, there's a. Ch mm, I don't know actually. Yeah. Okay, now there's no chance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, well. Rest in peace, Chadgar. Doug, you know, you tried your best, and yet Chadgar claimed <laughs> another one. But hey, at least you didn't get eighth, right? Because, like, other people who tried doing this, they took a fat L and they bottomed the, it out. The so. ice block, man. That's the secret. <laughs> that is the secret. Alright, uh, well done, and uh, thanks for joining us. We're going to go ahead and hop on with RD right now. Yeah. Alright, Roddy, so, uh, lobby leading, killing Dog, surviving another Chadgar transition. Um, it's going well so far, but I don't know if I can get first place. Wait. 12 wins was like scaling, I think, uh, I think a little bit better than me. Okay, okay. But I'll try. Well, that's all we can ever really ask you for. Bananas. All right. Better hire a recruit while you can. So I guess like a lot of people would look at Elise and Better say her hero power is done being can. useful. And I think that a lot of people might be curious, uh, you know, is the bananas that good that you want to actually go ahead and buff, or is it potentially good to go for a hero power? Hero power seems pretty unreliable sometimes. sometimes many times you get something that's not super uh, impactful in the late game, right? Yeah, there's very few hero powers that are actually, like, really good late game. So you have to look at the heroes that are good, and out of them, a lot of them are good because they're good early game. So few are really good late game. I almost never go for new hero power, but a lot of people tell me that I should go for it more often. I don't know. Would those a lot of people who tell you that happen to be people in your chat? 
<laughs> yes. You, you know, in that case, I would say uh, don't worry too much. About I mean, it. they're not wrong. A lot of like um, really high level people watch my okay. streams. Sick flex, sick flex. But yeah, no, I, I understand what your logic is. Been, at first, I thought it was really good, and then the more I picked it, the less I liked it. So I'm kind of actually starting to get to your team now, where I'm like, I don't actually know if it's that good anymore. I, I liked it a lot in the beginning. Yeah, I felt the same way. I also thought it was going to be like really good in the beginning. Okay, so... Mitrox is hard carrying me here, but I need to triple it because it occupies too much space right. on the board. We didn't get to play bananas because it's taking up hand space. Yeah, I also want to play the bananas. I'm still not sure on what I want to play them, if they should go on the Hydra or something right. else. Oh, okay, top two. Your minions really pulled their All right, we'll leave you to it. We're going to go check in on Victor. Good luck, Radu. Thank you. All right, Victor, you're going to wrap Yo, up then. potentially our lobby. This you lobby is really strong. tight. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to not to die in this whole game, dude. Right, you're doing a good job of it so Looking far. Looking for the shield and the maga down here. Oh, there's a shield. Hard chimp. Nice. Divine shield. With the uh, have to sell module. a life thing here, I believe. Right. I like where you're going with this. It's tough. What, uh, what were you offered as your Dark Moon Fear Prize, by the way? What were I offered on what? Sorry. What was your What was uh, the offering on your Dark Moon Fear Prize previous turn? Oh, I pick uh, all the glitters, and I tripled a. I make a golden Primorphin Lookout. Oh, and discover okay, some cool. Murloc buffs. I was trying to hit a Amalgadon from the triple. Mm -hmm. You know where you get a golden card, you triple. Right. But I didn't hit the Malgadon. I got an Elystra uh, from it. Okay. Well, Lystra's still useful at least. Yeah, Sometimes you get nothing. Something to end the turn on. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is a good one here. I'll find a selfless hero. I wasn't expecting the game to end so early, so I hero powered it. Yeah, they're selfless. <laughs> and you need it immediately. <laughs> yeah, I need it like right now. I guess I have a couple more rolls here. Right. I really take the drug now. One more roll. Another Elystra is fine. I'll sell the pair. I like it. Or do you, or do you have a couple divine shields and the cleave? That'll do some damage. It's tough to play around cleave here. I guess we'll put. I uh, have to put one in front to break his shield. Maybe I put both in front actually. Okay. This I, way, yeah, when the cleave come down, it doesn't hurt me too much. Right. You don't really see that too often, so I am curious to see how it works. So also, I know he has to mind shield pound, so I want to put a smaller minions in front. Yep. Yep. Makes sense. Doesn't look good to me, though. Uh, His minions are just bigger. Yeah, and the cleave's about to really hurt. It's pretty nice, but he's just bigger. Those myth racks are huge. Are you going to be able to survive at least? You're at 23 life. It feels like you're pretty healthy at least. This is so much Yeah, I probably left, will though. survive this fight. The next fight, I really hope I get a golden self. Let's go. Or a uh, second amount of down. Less. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you never know. Sometimes Gascore says, you thought you were going to lose, but you know I'm going to give you this one. Yeah, but this one is a little bit too much stats to scam. Mm -hmm. Alright. All right. I've got some fresh um, recruits for you. Find a chance. mouth on selfless. There's the selfless. The most ideal is to triple the selfless into a Malgadon. Yes. I like your optimism. Might make all the difference. Does it zap do anything? No, it will just die to the gas coiler. How about a ghoul? He doesn't have that many shields, he just pure stats. Agreed. Hmm. Mm. Bob! Give me the self list now. I can sell the gas coiler maybe, or one at Lystra. Ah, uh, just nothing. Oh no. Alright, I think I still sell one at Lystra to play the self list. Nothing scares me. 
Picks well, up mice. yeah. I'm gonna play both selfless actually. I need a divine shield on a poison Nothing here to have me. any chance. Except the mice. All right, and I gotta you know, play around cleave as well though. I I like it because. You know, RDU probably is anticipating Elystra as well, so it can potentially position around it. I, I, I don't know if you can see it. Up. Now we actually have uh, slightly favored presenters to win this fight now. I, I can't, so that's actually a really clever move, uh, Victor. I, I wasn't really anticipating you to flip the percentages like that. Uh, Lystra second one of our Divine Shield, that was bad. Mm. Oh. Also go down here. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have enough poison to deal with these sports now. Alright. Is that going to do it? I think any victory here means death for Victor. Oh, it's actually pretty close, but yeah, there's just too much poison. Alright, well, you know, Victor is still able to get a top two and help kind of redeem yourself there, so well done. But the, the moment does belong to RDU. Let's go ahead and check in with him. Radu, you did it! Congratulations, you got the win. You said you weren't even sure if you were gonna get the win. What do you have to say? Um, I don't know. Weak lobby. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I got uh, some good fight RNG as well, I think. But uh, Elistra saved me a lot. All right, all right. Well, congratulations, Radu. I think that's a, a better way to, to end it than anyone could have asked for. So congrats. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. And after four lobbies, we had it. A player that made quite the comeback. RDU, first or eighth gamer indeed. Just narrowly missing out. I'm about to tie for first place at 18 points because the day belongs to Mr. Consistent himself, Brian Kibler with a Battlegrounds victory again. Uh, Kibler has done fantastic in all kinds of tournament formats, whether it's constructed or different limited formats. And now you can see him doing well consistently in a lot of these Blizzard-sponsored Battlegrounds tournaments. So congratulations. Brian Kibler is your BlizzConline Battlegrounds Edition champion. Another Blizzard tournament, another win for Brian Kibler. First words from the champion himself. Well, I, I got I to gotta give credit to the MVP right here. You know, he gave me moral support and furry support the entire time. So he's, uh, you know... <laughs> He was, he was part of previous events at BlizzCon before, so uh, only appropriate he gets a little camera time now, too. Absolutely. The true hand and brain dynamic, and of course the brain himself, Shiro, making an appearance. Uh, Brian, you know, uh, we, we've seen you do really well in all kinds of formats in Hearthstone. I think it's safe to say you're pretty good at card games in general. What do you think was um, the key to, to winning today in particular? I mean, I think that I do think I was pretty fortunate with hero selection. You know, the game that I won, uh, I had Elise, and I was able to do very well getting uh, multiple copies of, of early Nomi and just, you know, totally going nuts. Um, but really, I, I feel like I was able to, to perform consistently in all of the games, and that was really, you know, uh, you know, even when I had some of the lower power champions, uh, which I think is, you know, very important for this kind of scoring system. You know, like a, a, a top four finish is obviously much better than getting knocked out in, say, eighth. Yeah, that's right. And I think that consistency has helped you. It's actually always helped you whenever you participate in, you know, Battlegrounds tournaments. It does seem to be your MO to kind of be like a top four kind of guy and then uh, able to sneak in a, a top finish there. So a job well done. Um, was there any any moments where, you know, you, you weren't sure? Like talking about the tournament itself, you know, was there any moments of uncertainty or doubt or were you feeling like confident all the way through given how consistent well, you were being? At the very end, I didn't know exactly how the scoring system worked. I knew that I was four points ahead of RDU and I wasn't sure if first place was five or four. And I was like, did we tie? Did I win? I'm not sure. And, you know, I got, got the good news that, in fact, I was the winner, which, uh, which was great. And I actually felt like that last game I was doing very well. Um, before Victor knocked me out when he hit, uh, you know, I, all my attacks went pretty badly. I had like, you know, a, a decent 50-50-ish uh, battle, but ended up losing to like a, a gas coiler spawning a goldrin and just getting blown up for damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, everything ended up working out really nicely, so uh, very solid indeed. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, what you think 
Battlegrounds has become. You know, it's been a year and a half since the last time we saw Battlegrounds being featured at a BlizzCon like event. It was a really big surprise, right? People were just like, wow, what is this new game mode? It's been out for about a year and, and change. Just give me some of your reflections now that we've seen Battlegrounds go through an entire cycle and a half here. I think I think Battlegrounds is fantastic. You know, I think that that uh, you know the Hearthstone team has done a fantastic job, not only with the core game mode, because I think that one of the things that that makes Battlegrounds so uh, so appealing and so popular is that it's really very straightforward. A lot of other games in the sort of auto battler style genre, there's just tons of additional mechanics other than like you buy stuff and you put them into play. And I feel like uh, one of the things that that Blizzard in general and the Hearthstone team in particular does very well is distilling. Uh, the games to what are the core elements of what's fun. And I think that we've seen with the consistent updates and like adding little things like the Dark Moon Fair prizes, uh, as well as adding new new heroes and, and you know the rotating through of, of different tribes and, and, and stuff just leads to the game remaining engaging over the long term, despite having a, uh, a very simple core dynamic. Yeah, I have to agree with that. I think that the Dark Moon you Fair prizes have added... <laughs> uh, a really important dimension to the game and just you know help help you give more decisions and more agency so i've been a really big fan of how they've developed in battlegrounds you know let's talk a little bit about battlegrounds tournaments you've been competing in several of them by now mm -hmm. where do you feel like the competitive space exists right now for battlegrounds do you feel like there's a future for it i mean i think there's definitely room for competitive battlegrounds you know you look at you know, a lot of a lot of players they're really heavily invested in trying to maximize uh, you know their their chances, and you know lots of people play you know really long time every day, and you know people like like you know uh, like Dog and Victor you know, and, and Slissa, you know people who are consistently uh, you know at the top of those uh, those rankings, and you know obviously it, you know, it's not a lot of people like to say oh well you know it's there's just randomness. Of course, any given game has randomness, but that's why in events like this one, you know you play a number of games, and your scores over time end up being what ultimately matters i think that battlegrounds would lend itself very well to like a league format too you know you you, you play on a regular basis and you 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 accumulate scores throughout the entirety of of the competition rather than just necessarily being you know uh, a, a one and done style tournament that said that's kind of the leaderboards but that also like that doesn't you know correct yeah. for how much you play if you have like a league in which you're competing only right. against other people in the league and you all play the same number of games against only those players, like that could be a really cool kind of experience, I think. That's right. And I think it would be even better if that league was commentated by two very handsome men <laughs> with blue hair and a fantastic dog and, uh, and, a, and a majestic beard. What do you think? What do you say? Now you're speaking my language. This sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. I miss casting with you, Caleb, but it was such a pleasure to watch you also do well. It always is see you be able to put on different hats, um, you know, as a former game designer and content creator and a competitor that's uh, at the highest level. So and anything that you want to say to sign us off here? Well, I, I just think it's I want to add this to my, you know, BlizzCon wins. I think that box back there was from winning Challenge Stone a few years ago. That uh, chalkboard on my shelf back there. Yeah, that's from winning uh, Draw Stone. And now I got this crown to go up there too. We got all these BlizzCon prizes. Never actually competed in like the world championship at BlizzCon or anything, but uh, I like that I'm racking up wins anyway. All right. Well, we'll be sending this to you soon to add to your that is, that is epic sick. collection. That's way cooler than just winning really some big money. Thing. <laughs> That's right. I, I hope that if you do some gym streams that you can show it off a little bit. Maybe, uh, you know, a little tank top and just the crown would be pretty dope. <laughs> But it is a little heavy, so handle with care. Absolutely. And with that, that wraps it up here at BlizzCon Line for Battlegrounds Exhibition. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time for more Hearthstone action.